Hello friends, our verse for today is John chapter 1 verse 29. John the Baptist saw Jesus coming towards him and said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. John's description of Jesus as the Lamb of God, which we also find in John 1 34, is one which is biblically rich and historically loaded. Beginning from the book of Genesis, when Abraham led his son Isaac up the mountain of Moriah to be sacrificed, Isaac asked his father in Genesis 22, 8, The fire and the wood are here, but where is the lamb? In verse 13, a ram, not a lamb, was provided. Thus, Jesus is seen as the true lamb for sacrifice in the New Testament, who would effectively take away the sins of the world. The image of the Lamb in John 1.29 again has roots in Exodus 12. The night before leaving Egypt, the Lamb was the, the meal of the Passover, a very important and symbolic one. In every household, every household had been instructed to slaughter a lamb and consume it with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. The angel of death passed over the houses of the Israelites because their entrances were signed with the blood of the Lamb. The image of the Lamb is again significant in the description of the suffering servant in Isaiah 53, 7. The suffering servant goes to his death like a lamb being led to the slaughter. John will take up this image of the sacrificial lamb in his narrative on the passion of and death of Jesus definitively linking the Leviticus understanding of the Lamb of Sacrifice offered at the temple with the person of Jesus in John chapter 19 verses 14 and 36. In John 19 verse 14, the trial of Jesus is explicitly associated with the day of the preparation for the Passover. Jesus was being tried before Pilate at the moment the animals to be killed at the temple for the Passover were being prepared. In John 19.36, against the usual custom of breaking the legs of crucified persons, Jesus' bone was not broken. This again fulfills the Old Testament image of the Passover lamb. No bone of the lamb must be broken. See Exodus 12.46. The word for lamb is amnos in Greek. Its cognate in Hebrew is ima or kevesh. It could also mean young ram or ewe. The, la the word appears in works of ancient Greek dramatists, Sophocles and Aristophanes of 5th century BC and is used four times in the New Testament. In these days where we celebrate the incarnation of our Lord Jesus Christ, we are once more led to reflect on the mission of Christ. Jesus came to take away the sins of the world. His incarnation as Lamb demands a response from us. His sacrifice on the cross challenges us to give ourselves totally to this God who gave himself completely for us on the cross. The lamb is a simple and humble animal. How simple, how humble and how open have we been in our relationship with God and others? Do we exhume gentleness or are we in any way aggressive in our relationship with others? May the coming of Christ at Christmas make us messengers of peace, love, and gentleness everywhere we find ourselves. Let us pray. Lord God, you came among us as man and gave your life for the salvation of all. Help us to be altruistic in our relationship with others and work to bring more people into your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Shalom. Peace be with you.